Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And you guys, I was not expecting to get a freaking teaser for the Monster High Life action movie or to see even more animated characters uh, teased at this uh, film festival, animated film festival. So, um, my god we have so much to go over once again grab your popcorn today's just all about monster okay, high so first up we're gonna look at the teaser the second teaser they've released so far it's much longer and it has more um they say a lot more in this teaser i feel like the last teaser was more like actually they did I, I, don't, I don't think they even spoke in the last teaser so in this teaser um we get more introductions more speaking lines um and i've already seen a teaser so i'm not gonna i can't react to it but it's also like very short it's a very short teaser i feel like i'll react to the actual trailer when it comes out but for now here's a teaser just in case you didn't actually um watch it yet and i do have it uploaded on my channel here as a short and i actually i, I was trying to figure out like because it was weird i was trying to upload it as a video because i uploaded the last um video i uploaded a video on the rainbow high series four girls the commercial that was 20 seconds long and that worked as a video but this one is longer it's 30 seconds long and i c i wasn't able to upload it as a video instead it's now uploaded as a short you know so i was trying to figure out why is that the case and i was trying to upload a thumbnail for the short but i realized it doesn't work like that <laughs> So I wasted a lot of time trying to get the short um, looking good, but I gave up. So it's just there in case you want to watch it all over and over again, because I know I will. This is so, such a good teaser. But anyways, here is a teaser in case you haven't watched it already. <laughs> I've been living my whole life in hiding. Maybe I'll have better luck in the monster world. First day of class tomorrow. I'm all charged up. Everyone says witchcraft's a filthy human habit, but... I love it. Deadly hair, deadly eyes. Everyone makes assumptions about me. If anyone finds out, I'll be an outcast forever. This is what I've been waiting for. I'll talk about the trailer as a whole at the end. First, let's go shot by shot over the trailer. So we open on Claudine. The close-ups we've seen before, but she mentions that she's been living her whole life in hiding and that maybe she'll have better luck at Monster High. So that implies that either she hasn't gone to a school yet or she's tried to stay, um, tried to uh, hide in a normal school and she hasn't had any luck. Either way, she's coming to Monster High to finally try to fit in. We then switch to Frankie Stein saying something along the lines of tomorrow is my first day of school I'm charged up obviously a pun because she's full of electricity No, literally because we can see her earring her lightning bolt earring doesn't just look like a lightning bolt But it also seems to have a lot of electricity on it And then she even has some electricity between her fingers as she does the peace sign so that's <laughs> Really, really we cute. then switch to Draculara and she's actually the only character we get to see her full face off and she says that everyone says that witchcraft's a filthy human habit and that she loves it so I guess she's gonna be into witchcraft in the movie um, and she shows has her fangs as well the makeup looks sublime those that lipstick it's perfection um, her makeup her eye makeup as well looks really great and it's interesting that you know people were noticing that she doesn't have her iconic accent anymore so i mean i didn't even notice it honestly i feel like she just she is dracula even if she doesn't have the accent um it is a new generation you know it's a new era for monster high so changes are gonna happen but um yeah i feel like she's still really cool and i like that we actually see her face and her potion making that will come in handy and then for lastly sure. the character to get this special treatment and close-ups is deuce gorgon i was not expecting to see a little tr special treatment for deuce here but he says he has you know deadly eyes deadly hair and everyone makes assumptions about him so that's really interesting and i hope that maybe they will address that that it's not easy for him you know to have this uh, this this um this gift but also this curse i guess that he can't just look everyone in the eye or can he because it's interesting if you look closely he's wearing sunglasses but then i realized they're not sunglasses because they have a clear lens so does he just have reading glasses and he does he doesn't need to wear sunglasses so that's interesting um 
maybe he can look people in the eye maybe they changed that i don't know but also interesting is that he's wearing a beanie obviously for you know a lot of reasons they can't always show his snake hair because that would cost a lot the you know to put the vfx in after uh that's not easy to do and to make it look good is probably gonna cost a lot so what i'm thinking is is that we're gonna see him in his beanie all throughout the movie and maybe we'll get to see his snake hair up here in one scene um because i i bet that's why it's just it costs a lot of money to put the vfx in so i i understand that honestly um we do see his scales a little bit on his neck which is something that doll did have but they were green scales here they look almost like like reflective it's it's weird i wasn't that looks really cool though like i like that the choices here and there really awesome especially for deuce um and his outfit looks really looks really cool too like a little um military jacket looking like a, the olive green tone i like that and um yeah he, he does a little swoosh with the jacket i don't know what that's all about maybe it's just drama i don't know but he looks awesome. I'm happy we got to see more. And then of him. the last line in this teaser is Claudine saying, "If anyone finds out, I'll be an outcast or something like that." And then everything else is just, uh, you know, then the music comes in and it's all epic. So yeah, in this shot we get to see Claudine kind of running up the Monster High uh, stairs. It looks really grand and big. I love that. It looks like an actual school. And then in the next scene, we see Claudine is actually going through a portal. Um, and I'm guessing that's the way they get to Monster High. Uh, interestingly enough, that's actually something that they also um, tackled in the Monster High anime. Uh, you know, if you've seen it with me, uh, the videos I made. Um, in cer certain episodes, they mentioned that they can only get through the human world with a portal and that only opens up every halloween now i'm sure that's different here in the movie but that's really interesting that they did actually you know have that interpretation in um in the past with the monster high anime that there's a portal and that uh, you only get to the human world with the portal so maybe this portal is always open or you need a code or you need to do something special to get through the portal um besides be a monster probably <laughs> so that's awesome that it does seem to be um the human world and the monster world seem to be separate which is something that you know the movies didn't have the movies uh of course like ghouls rule the first movie um the human world was in the same world right like monster high they lived in the same universe <laughs> am i making sense um but here it seems like it's gonna be different it's gonna be a different kind of story so that's interesting that there's some kind of portal and maybe it's not that maybe i'm just overthinking but that's really interesting nonetheless that she comes through a portal alone mind you with a suitcase and it looks like she's singing or something so maybe that's the first song i'm interested to see where they're gonna actually start off the um the movie you know is are we gonna get to see claudine's life before monster high why is she why does she want to fit into monster high why does she want to go to monster high or are we just gonna cut to immediately her getting into monster high i want to yeah I, I want I see the plot here. It's it's starting to you know blossom and I, I like it. In the next scene, we've seen this already in the first teaser, but we see Dracula, Frankie, and uh, Claudine kind of dancing around this huge uh huge potion making bowl. <laughs> uh, what what is the name for it again? I know the name. Cauldron, right. Uh <laughs> there. What? they're dancing around this huge cauldron that's lighting up in the middle uh but we've already seen it's already in the first teaser but still cool it's a little longer in this here. next scene we see claudine has entered monster high and uh, so this takes place right after the last scene where she's running up the stairs she's wearing the same outfit as well and we can see a little bit of the interior here of monster high as well with some statues in the background and what seems to be some kind of detailing at, on the floor as well now what's really interesting is that if you look in the back crowned under under the right statue um there seems to be some more luggage backpacks so maybe this is like the start of the semester and it's like everyone's coming together to start like the year i don't know so like maybe she's not the only one who's just arrived to monster high we can also see someone on the left side that they're back so it seems like a lot of people have just 
arrived. So maybe she's not alone. And here's when we start getting some dance sequences. So we have our first look at Cleo here. Uh, her hair, her bangs looks the same like her original character. And then her outfit's really simple. It's like a bl black shirt with a golden necklace, a gold belt with a little black bit in the middle. And then she has a deep blue skirt with some little wraps hanging from the sides. Um, and she even has some sandals that you can see go up to her calves. So that's really cute. She looks really good. I feel like it's also really cool that they mixed in some deep blue into her hair. You can kind of tell. Um, and uh, instead of some gold, yeah, she doesn't have gold in her hair. Instead, she gave they gave her some blue. Interesting. Okay. I like, I mean, I don't hate it, but I need to see more of this. <laughs> She also obviously has some bracelets and gold and we can also see some mummy servants question mark uh, behind her, you know, so interesting. <laughs> This looks really in cool. In this scene, we get to see some unnamed background characters dancing in a classroom. I love the um, windows. And um, oh my god, how you call them when the windows look like they're like really ornate and they have color in them? I, sorry, I forgot how they're called. Um, but you know what I mean. They look really, really nice. And it makes it feel like it's more like the school, like Monster High. It is really more ancient and really like an old building, which is really cool. I don't want it to be too modern. You know what I mean? So, And we get to see some characters like i mentioned uh, we don't know their names maybe they're just background characters but um they are um dancing in the classroom yeah i'm not sure where this scene is in the movie um but they look really cool i feel like the looks of these monsters looks really good the makeup some point um and it gives me hope also the fashion's not too bad i like that it's a little bright you know because it's you know it's it's um it's trendy it is what kids <laughs> kids uh People nowadays wear, I guess. People are all over the place with style and fashion. And sometimes fashion is just very bright. Sometimes it's not. So I like that we have a mix here of a lot of styles, you know. Then here we can see Dracula dancing around the cauldron that we just saw uh, before. And this is probably happening before or after that. Or it's the same scene, the cauldron scene where they're dancing around it here because we can see Claudine has her fur jacket on that she she has in the previous scene and they all look the same. But here there's an emphasis on Dracula and we can see her outfit more better as well. I like her skirt, her belt. I like her style. Damn, you know, not bad. And here we have our last scene and it's of Claudine looking up and everyone else is dancing around her. So it's a big dance scene with everyone dancing, but she is wearing her fur jacket here as well like in the last scene so i'm thinking maybe this is like at the end of the movie or i don't know when she gets her fur jacket could be any time uh it doesn't look like the end here so it's just her we don't have any other main character so i do think perhaps this is more at the beginning when she's maybe before she finds frankie and dracula outside you know who knows but the dance moves look really cool and this is what i was talking about the floor looks to have a big um a big image on it it's like it has some writing and stuff it looks really ornate oh yeah this has to be like the school crest or something right like the symbol but i thought it had the skelet so where is it i feel like that's missing the first teaser was really cool but this teaser we get to see much more we get to see some characters speak actually and well also the same song but that song slaps i love that song i can't wait to get it on my on my music app uh, i'm gonna play it on the loop <laughs> um this was really cool. I liked hearing Deuce, seeing more of the main ghouls, right? Cleo, um, Claudia, and Dracula, Frankie. And um, yes, I mean, we know for sure now that the animated show, the characters that look like in the animated show will not look like here in the live action movie because we'll get to it in a second but deuce has green skin in the animated show here he obviously does not so they will look different and that's great so that means there's some leeway you know to be had for the dolls to look different so that's also something that we shouldn't judge too quickly because they might change that as well so overall the teaser looked really exciting very promising i'm pumped i love what i see the sets look very good the budget looks well like it doesn't look cheap y'all please don't say it look cheap it don't look cheap okay it looks good and even then this is only like 30 minutes 30, 30 seconds these are only like it's only half a minute here of footage 
just imagine what the whole movie is gonna be like you know that's like 60 minutes i cannot wait finally we have more leaks of the animated show of draculaura and deuce specifically oh my god i guess these were just because this is also on a banner like obviously you can tell i don't know where this was taken from obviously it's also from the uh, animated film festival but um it's weird that it just came out um i got this from kez collect on instagram their story um but it looks like this is like a tiktok in french so i don't know where this originates from and who posted it first but um it's here and y'all let's talk about deuce first so deuce is fully green now and that's what i meant before um that deuce is green deuce is fully green here has full-on snake hair um black nail polish a lot of people were happy for that and that's cool i actually didn't notice that so that's awesome gives a little flavor um he has some sunglasses he looks honestly really cool i like that um i mean he always looked cool you know so i'm just really glad that i guess you know i guess they made him fully green to kind of symbolize that he's not he's no longer like half human which is what he used to be he used to be like half human and then half uh you know medusa's child um but i guess now you know he's just fully uh medusa's child but like who's who's his dad i guess it's like a dragon i don't know <laughs> i don't know what the origins are here what what the origins are here for his character for this generation um i guess we'll find out but um it's striking that he's fully green now i mean it's gonna take some adjusting but i feel like it works for him it works for him weirdly enough i feel like it doesn't look too bad for him <laughs> he looks really cool his outfit also looks really cool a like little shirt um fully just again a lot of swag a lot of drip i can see a lot of i just like it he looks awesome honestly and here is draculaura and i feel like she looks really cute um i like that she has like the two to uh the the middle parting of like pink and black here like it's actually like divided and it's not just all mixed i feel like that gives her a unique look um i like that she has these like little pointy bangs almost she seems to be wearing a really large black hat i love that she has <laughs> some bat shaped earrings and she has a little like black uh handkerchief for, tied around her neck or like some kind of black bow necklace or choker and her outfit we can't really make out but she has a pink top on of some sorts and yeah that's all we re we can really tell of her i feel like the models for each of them look really good and they definitely fit with frankie and claudine as and well remember this old doll leak of draculaura it's very blurry but this came out like a couple months ago i think i showed it in a video and uh this looks exactly like the animated show i mean the bangs the divided color of pink and black i mean this has to be this has to be legit that means the doll actually looks that way so that's thanks wow. to uh, mordecai wolfgang and ugly burnt doll on instagram for you know pointing this out because it is very striking how similar they look like because that's that's how she will look like i guess <laughs> but yeah these two characters do Draculaura, they look really good um surprisingly i really like deuce the green skin isn't throwing me off yeah wow <laughs> overall i'm really excited for the show now like they look really good plus with all the original voice cast returning are you kidding me it's gonna be epic you guys but yeah that was the video i hope y'all enjoyed be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you did be sure to leave me any thoughts or questions you may have down below let me know you thought of this teaser the second teaser trailer did you like it did you hate it what do you think of dracula and induces new looks for the animated show let me know down below and as always don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when i post more monster high doll news movie news animated show news more content coming daily and keeping you updated on all the doll tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses